It's an evolution of the work initially pioneered by Britt Berg and Peterson in the 1990s. Subsequent work done by Professor Zing demonstrated that chondrocytes could avidly bind and indeed migrate through fibrin glue. This meant that cells could be applied to the porcine membrane and glued directly onto the subchondral bone without the need for suturing the membrane into place. So this is a four millimetre gouge with a, just a sharp end. So that's inserted into the knee through the medial portal. It's very important to get down to the subchondral bone and just to walk it forward on the subchondral bone out trying to dislodge it. I like to keep it hinged to either distally or laterally so it doesn't fly off into the joint. And then we retrieve it with a pituitary rondure. The biopsy is then placed into a transfer medium and sent to a genzyme facility where it is mechanically minced and then digested to isolate the chondrocytes. The chondrocytes are then seeded into a tissue flask with a culture medium. There's an expansion period after which the cells are then seeded on to the porcine membrane, generally about three days before the planned implantation. The definitive graft with the cell side up, a methylene blue marker on the smooth side, which is the articular side, and we place it into the joint in the direction in which we intend to implant it. Now we've got adequate covering at the base of the lesion and to some extent up on the walls. We're placing the fibrin glue in percutaneously. There is the graft at the base of the lesion. We don't instill the any local anaesthetic into the knee, which might be harmful to the cells, nor do we use any drainage. <laughs>